Oh, hi. I'm going to talk about a, a very interesting story. A girl I'm going to call Nancy grew up in a very religious family, part of a Pentecostal church. However, Nancy was gay and she always knew this. Her parents were horrified. Oh, my goodness. They sent her twice to gay conversion therapy, which didn't work, but left her highly traumatised. And then she had to be exorcised, and that was added to the trauma. Eventually, she ran away and went to America with her girlfriend, where they got married under US law, because that ended, ended her family's efforts at, at converting her. They, they dealt with the situation. She was married. Pretty difficult. Over time, a few years later, she was divorced from her wife, not unexpectedly given the speed and motivation for the wedding. It really wasn't a, wasn't the best relationship from the word go. It was just an escape. She was very guilty about that. And I said to her, well, I don't think that's a particularly um, helpful thing to feel guilty because you did what you needed to do to cope with the situation. You couldn't go on in that dreadful situation where you were constantly in strife with your family and the church. And she relaxed. She re and she's now in a very happy, settled relationship with another lovely young woman. I treated her for the trauma and worked with her so that she understands unconsciously that the trauma was never her fault. And she needed to learn to love herself for who she is. And like every one of us, it was her responsibility to help heal herself, which of course she has done now. That is a story with a really good outcome, but it was distressing at the start.